Hey folks, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to go over four worked examples to show you how to do problems involving astronomical units and light years. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. So we're going to do two worked examples for astronomical units and two for light years. And this should act as a bit of a reminder from further down the school, say S3 or National 5 Physics. Question 1 says that a distance in space is given by 3 times 10 to the 11 metres. Write this distance in astronomical units. Well remember if we want to go from metres to astronomical units, our number is going to get a lot smaller because astronomical units are a much larger unit than metres. So that means we expect a division here and it means we're going to take our number 3 times 10 to the 11 and divide it by 1.5 times 10 to the 11 metres which is how many metres are in 1 AU. And if we do that and put that into your calculator then you should get an answer of 2 AU. Question 2 says that another distance in space is given as 7.63 AU. What is this distance in metres? Well this time we want to convert from AU into metres, so we're going to be expecting a much bigger number in metres than we have in AU. So in order to get this bigger number we need to multiply this time. So we're going to do 7.63 times 1.5 times 10 to the 11, and if you put that into your calculator you should get an answer of 1.14 times 10 to the 12 metres. Moving on to light years now, question 3 says that our galaxy is approximately 100,000 light years in diameter. How wide is our galaxy in metres? Well we've got a number in light years so we want to convert from light years to metres and to do this we expect to get a much larger number so we're going to multiply it by how many metres are in one light year. So we're going to do 100,000 times 9.46 times 10 to the 15. Remember that is how many metres are in one light year. If you didn't remember that then you can arrive at this number by using speed distance time. And if you put that into your calculator later you should get an answer of 9.46 times 10 to the 20 metres. Lastly question 4 says that the nearest galaxy to us is 2.1 times 10 to the 22 metres away. Part A says how long does it take light to reach us from that galaxy? Well we're just going to do a classic speed distance time here, so we're trying to find t, we know that the speed of light v is 3 times 10 to the 8 metres per second and the distance in the equation is 2.1 times 10 to the 22 metres. The reason we can use it in this equation is because it's given in metres and not in light years or AU. So then writing down our equation we have t equals vt and rearranging for time we divide both sides by v to get t equals d over v. Substituting in our numbers now we get 2.1 times 10 to the 22 divided by 3 times 10 to the 8 and putting that into your calculator should give an answer of 7 times 10 to the 13 seconds. Part B then says to express the given distance in light years. So if we want to convert from metres into light years, remember we're going to divide by how many metres are in one light year this time rather than multiply because we want a smaller number. So doing our division we have 2.1 times 10 to the 22 divided by 9.46 times 10 to the 15, remember that is how many metres are in one light year, gives you an answer of 2.2 times 10 to the 6 light years if you put it in your calculator. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.